To me, luxury is being able to, to get up and, and wear what I want every day. You know, to me, luxury is being able to leave work at a certain hour, to spend more time with my family on the weekends. Those things are, are luxury. I feel like the only luxury that there really is is time. What we were just talking about is Jay-Z's quote, and until you own your own, you can't be free. You know, that quote just really hit me. Because even if you have $10 in the bank, but you're making your own decisions and you're taking responsibility for your own brand or whatever it is that you're building, that's the essence of true freedom. I, I would rather have a little bit than have a lot and have to answer to um, someone else's strategy or someone else's agenda. What I love about Rick Owens is he was able to take what I feel were urban silhouettes. Uh, Rick was able to take an Allen Iverson oversized baggy look and, and make it feel luxury through a different lens. You know, the more that I study and see the basketball shoes and see the baggy shorts and the layering um, and, and even the do-rags that he's used in his um, collections, I see our culture. I see hip hop culture in that. And I love the way he's been able to do that, put it through his lens and elevate it. But he's been able to make, you know, sweat shorts luxury. Raph Simmons has a uh, more of a conceptual perspective which I feel like is a little bit more art driven and somehow he's been able to mix this conceptual vibe with youth punk. You know, in the 2000s, some of his, you know, Teenage Riot and, and um, some of those earlier shows really gave street culture and elevated it in a luxury way and, and kind of put it at the forefront of luxury fashion and said, hey, this perspective is the most authentic, this youth perspective and to me, um, the youth perspective is always the strongest because it comes from a place of not having.